Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk about Rule 1 of the responsibilities of the investigator according to good clinical practice. More after the break. Let's start with the first of the 12 rules. Rule 1. The investigator should know the study protocol in detail, agree with the content, and follow the regulatory requirements. Some supplements to Rule 1 are shown here. After having read the protocol, agreed with the content, and signed the protocol signature page, the investigator must strictly follow the requirements of the protocol. In case any questions arise, it is crucial that the investigator makes the protocol available at all times to all members of the research team for direct access. After the study, it must be archived by him. As soon as the study has started, the protocol is binding. If the investigator would like to change something after the study has started, he does not do this independently. After starting a study, amendments to the protocol may only be made in consultation with the sponsor and after the amendment has been supported by the Ethics Committee. Any violation of the protocol must be documented as a protocol deviation by the monitoring personnel of the sponsor. Protocol deviations occur frequently in clinical practice. They can be divided into several categories. Major protocol deviations mean that data sets are not considered in the so-called per-protocol analysis. Minor protocol deviations are listed in the database but don't have consequences. An example of a minor protocol deviation perhaps would be if a patient does not appear punctually for all investigations within a 10-year study. Such protocol deviations must absolutely be documented with reasons in the source data. More severe protocol deviations are, for example, the implementation of additional examinations, extra blood samples, extra biopsies, wrong dosage of the study medication, and similar procedures, which are not intended to be in the protocol, but which are solely a matter of interest to the principal investigator or of carelessness. Such behavior, of course, is unacceptable within a clinical study because the protocol was approved in a certain way by the ethics committee and also the patient information by which the patient was informed about the study was written based on the approved protocol. Such protocol deviations must be documented and reported by the clinical monitor. When occurring repeatedly, they may even cause audits. If a principal investigator is unwilling to cease behavior, which is non-compliant with the protocol, he should be excluded from recruitment to ensure the data integrity for the study. The protocol is an important study document with inclusion and exclusion criteria, a guide for the implementation of the study concerning therapies and safety reporting guidelines. The attending investigators need to be aware of it. Too many studies at one trial site can lead to confusion, hence, you should ensure that the number of studies conducted simultaneously at your trial site remains manageable. Protocol compliance can also be used as a quality index of trial sites. This implies that the number of protocol deviations gives information on how well a trial site is working. As already mentioned, all protocol deviations are documented and also noted in the final study report after the study. So much for our overview of the Rule 1 for investigators. We will look into each rule in future videos, so stay tuned. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time.